Hello everyone, this is G and I'm back with another video. I hope everybody is well. Um, RJ's off sleeping on the bed and I don't want to wake him up, so um, no RJ intro uh, today. So, I wanted to, first of all, as always, thank you all for uh, subscribing and watching and everything. I hope that you continue to enjoy the comment. But I have some good news. This video will actually be mostly positive. I know a lot of my videos recently, and in general, tend to be me critiquing something, giving a negative opinion about something, and uh, just in general, with everything that's been going on for the past two months or so, right, a lot of my content has been a bit more serious. But believe it or not, I'm actually happy about something. For once in life, your resident New York grump is actually happy and positive about something. And interestingly enough, it's something that I never would have thought would actually bring a smile to my face. See, smiling. <laughs> but anyway, that is actually the, um, the trailer, the movie trailer for the uh, Snyder Cut for Justice League. Now, as a film, I have to admit, I don't have much interest in it, believe it or not. Uh, I'm not a big movie person in general, and I'm not a big DC person, right? If you want film and DC, I suggest Tristan at Nerd's newsstand. That, that's her thing. I'm a Marvel girl. <laughs> I'm a Marvel girl. And I'm much more, you know, cartoons and comics and things of, of that nature. Not big on films. Though I, though I do love my, my uh, Batman when, when, it's, when it's done well. But anyway, I happen to just come across this, the trailer online. And since I'm not a big fan of DC, I was able to look at it more from an objective point of view, just evaluate it as a trailer. And I have to admit, I think as a trailer, it is beautiful. And let me explain to you why. I like this trailer because of the fact that, first of all, the song. For me, it's, it's really the song that makes this, this trailer. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, the song that they use is the uh, Leonard Cohen version of the song Hallelujah, right? Which for those who are not who are not familiar with the song, despite the name, it's not a religious song. It's not a hymn. It's not praise music. It's actually a breakup song. It's just using um, religious imagery, in particular imagery involving King David. I mean, the first of the opening lines of the song are, I heard there was a secret chord that, that David played and it pleased the Lord, right? So it just uses a lot of of um, biblical imagery to tell this story of, of, uh, of, of a breakup. But what I like about this trailer, even though I have to admit, I don't like the version of the song that they use. I, I like the choice of song. I just don't like the version of the song that, that, that they use, because interestingly enough, it's Leonard Cohen singing. And with I have all the respect in the world for um, Leonard Cohen and his abilities as a songwriter and as a a music composer and all that, but dear God, the man could not sing. <laughs> he couldn't sing. I'm like, you have the Jeff Buckley version. License that. <laughs> Use that version. That version is beautiful. That, that version is amazing. I know that uh, John Bon Jovi also did a beautiful cover of the song a long, long, long time ago um, in concert. But dear God, like, like the Jeff Buckley version is like the version of Hallelujah. It's either that one or the version that was in the first Shrek film all those years ago. But like, ju 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 just for like the beauty of the voice and, and, and the vocals, it's the Buckley version. So it's like, just for me personally, I wish they had used the, the Jeff Buckley uh, v recording of Hallelujah. If, you're not, if you are not familiar with the Jeff Buckley version, get familiar with it. I'll leave a link in, in the... Uh, description but that's just a personal I guess a personal uh, uh, quirk or quip I don't know the term I guess pet peeve but I like the fact that they use this song even if I don't like the version of it that, that they used and what I really like about this trailer overall is that while it's certainly you know a trailer for a superhero film so it's a lot of action there's a lot of you know special effects and, and, and explosions and all that this is probably one of the few superhero trailers that I've seen where the trailer is actually cut to the music. The trailer is actually cut to the song. And what I mean by that is, is that when it's in the verses, 
and the verses are you know singing about you know loss and and the relationship falling apart and, and all this other stuff right we see the heroes you know at their worst right right someone's dying or they're unable to save them or you know things are falling apart right we see them at their lowest points and then when they when it gets to the chorus right it's hallelujah and all this other stuff then we see them rise and we see these you know um these uh heroics out of them so i like that that you know down and then up and down and then up you know the the ebb and flow as it were it actually tells a story and i really like that because there aren't at least from what i've seen there aren't too many movie trailers especially for a superhero film that actually like tell a story in the trailer or that actually go with the song right when it's a low point the 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 um the characters are, you know, shown in despair, and then when it's high and it's, you know, uh, 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 victorious in a sense, right? Then, then they're brought up. I, I, I can't recall a trailer that I've seen for a superhero film that does that. Uh, for mo at least from what I've seen, for most superhero trailers, right? What they'll do is just they'll just cut a trailer where you know it's all big and it's actiony and it's it's visually exciting, which is nothing wrong with that. This trailer does that too. But it's all all visually exciting and the music is kind of like an afterthought like when i compare this trailer to the wonder woman 1984 trailer that had the song blue monday in it right now to be fair the wonder woman trailer i think is just fine but the difference is that the wonder woman trailer is just you know clips of the film a few clips introducing um cheetah right showing how they were kind of like friends and then now they're enemies right but but outside of that perhaps there's not much of a story going on in at least to me in the wonder woman 1984 trailer it's just action shots you know very very cool looking but just action shots and for the most part you just have the the song blue monday playing under that's it i found at least for me i found myself singing singing along to to the song than I did really paying attention to the trailer. But when it comes to to this Justice League Snipe Cut trailer, I was actually really paying attention to what's happening in the trailer. Because there's an actual story being told. It's not just a bunch of cool looking clips put together. It's actually a narrative here. And the narrative thematically matches the the uh, song being used. So, so just for the fact that it's just actually telling a story, I have to give it a thumbs up. That made me very, 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 very happy to see. My only other critique, and this would be very tiny, is that there's a there's a point uh, in the trailer when again it's at its like low point, right? Right. So in the song, it's 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 singing about again the the breakup, right? So everything is sad. There's a part where like um, Aquaman kind of like fades away into water or whatever, and you see Mira sort of like looking um, shocked or, 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 you know, in despair or something. And just for that part, I wish that they had used the, the uh, verse that, uh, that uh, goes up. Uh, trying, to, trying to remember <laughs> um, I see your flag on the marble arch. Love is not a victory march. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. There, there we go. That's the one. I wish they had used that verse at that part just because of the fact that in in the film and, and in the comics Mira and uh, Aquaman are married right so given their relationship that particular verse I think would have made that scene a bit more impactful that and I hope that Amber Heard is not playing Mira <laughs> given everything uh in, in all the hot water she's in re regarding uh, uh her uh, treatment of uh, of uh, Johnny Depp but I don't know I haven't really followed it so I don't know uh, whether whether they fired her or recasted her for the film or if she's still in it or whatever but again just that again it's just a small critique and it's just like one of one of the things where it's good I just think that had they put that verse in there or rather played that that verse over the Aquaman mirror moment that it, that it just would have made it that much better but um, overall, I have to say that I really enjoyed uh, this trailer. I think it was cut beautifully. Uh, I love the song used, even if I don't like <laughs> Leonard Cohen singing. 
And uh, yeah, overall, I am quite happy. So it gets two thumbs. Can you see my thumbs? There we go. There we go. It gets two thumbs up from me. I know. Very, very few things actually put me in a good mood, but this actually did. So yay. So anyway, uh, please let me know what you think, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Be safe, and I'll see you around. Bye.